Mama First Lady, Mama Esther Lungu. Um, the police were here slightly before six, and this standoff you are seeing has been going on for the last four hours. They requested that uh, their lawyers be present uh, because you've seen the horde of police that are here. They really, I don't know what they've come for because this is not for an investigation, especially for the armored, armed policemen that are here. We wish to restate that the former president has constitutional immunity. You cannot search his premises. You cannot. The former first lady, according to the search warrant who they want, they can issue a police call out and she will comply. But you can't forcibly attempt to go into the premises where the former president is. Whether it's a rented property or not, you cannot do that. That's total lawlessness. They claim that they want to search the former first lady. They claim that there are certain vehicles that they are looking for and that they want to then search the, the house and the entire premises. The lawyers have read to them what the law states, that the first lady is a spouse to the former president and the two live together at this house. And this house, they cannot have access to it, whether they purport that they are doing investigations or they wish to prosecute, until they do what the law is required. After that negotiations with the police, the name of, of Mr. Siandenge, Commissioner of Police, keeps on coming up. He's the one directing this entire operation. Mr. Siandenge, I want to look you in the eye. You report to the president, you are probably seated next to the president. You are probably briefing the president about this illegality. Advise the president the correct thing. Because the abuse of the law you are doing is the president who's committing this breach. It is not you. You were appointed by the president and if you wish to be unlawful, if you wish to perpetuate legality, it's the president you are putting on the line for future prosecutions. If this government is keen to investigate the former president, they should do what is uh, allowed by the law. The president is in jovial mood, he's shocked by this conduct. The former first lady of Sina, she's willing to go to the police even now if they issue a call out to find out why they want her. She has wondered why they are dealing with her like she's a fugitive. She said, they, last time DEC wanted me, I reported to DEC. Where is the difference where they come up? Zero four, zero five. And they come with search warrants reporting that she has stolen vehicles. Can the first lady steal vehicles? Mm. We want to work our lives. <laughs> so as it stands now, what's happening? Have they been allowed to go ahead? The police have threatened to storm the residence. We are waiting for them to break the law. We are waiting for them to, to breach the law. The law is very clear. This is where the former president is. If Siandenge has told them that uh, they can breach uh, the gates and enter and go and search, for us there's nothing we can do. Because if the police wish to behave like we are a police state, <laughs> and before I allow Honorable GBM to come in, we as a patriotic front are putting this on President Haka Inde Ichilema. He's the one that keeps on issuing public statements. Yeah. That you will not allow the former president Takabuelelepo. Takabuelelepo. So, what does it mean when you say you will not allow him? Has the president become the constitution? Even when President Lungo has said that he's not coming back, he has said, I'm in retirement. Mm -hmm. The fear by President Daka India against his predecessor is now motivating this lawlessness you have seen today. And they are threatening to go into these premises. They claim that they search warrants to search the former first lady. So what we are saying is, my first lady, make her another president. 
So no more, no more. Allah, Papa, to can you share? No, you are targeting the president. Apa Allah, Papa, president. Apa Allah, Papa, former president. Exactly. Apa Papa, Allah, Papa, former president. Apa Papa, president. So how will you conduct that search without breaching the constitutional rights of the former president? Let them just come out in the open and say what they want. And to our former president, we know they are targeting him. We know this. It's not the former president they are looking for. Yeah. I call that to be stupid and nonsensical. Mm. Eh? For yeah. someone to send some people to come and start searching a former president. That's true. Mind you, you should also realize that one day you'll be a former. Just because they've seen that the PF is still popular. We are still popular and we remain popular. Yeah. Eh? Mwayamba nomba ukula tinya avantu. Zambians are suffering. Why don't you first deal with the issues of Zambians, the way they are suffering? Give them food, give them three meals a day which you promise them. Today you are Western even PF. Now because you've seen that the popularity uh, of, uh, 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 of our former president is getting higher, now you want to start intimidating it. We are there to support him. Yes. Bane, let's stand up for the Eddie Galungo. Let's yeah. support him. People of Zambia, you've seen the difference now between PF and uh, UPND. You've seen who was saying the truth. Yeah. Who are the hypocrites? Who are the liars? Who lied you that they will turn this country into a, a gold mine? Mm. Today, Zambia is something else. People are suffering like nobody's business. When I walk in a supermarket, eh, Everybody there is complaining, but it was when go to Achura Kunsala. People have become worse than they were under the leadership of President, the leader, I mean, uh, President uh, Edgar Lungu. So, what I'm saying, or what I'm trying to say, is that please stop intimidating, stop harassing the former president. He has told you in no uncertain terms that he is not returning back to politics. We are there, and I'm one of the presidential candidates. So 2026 mundo leleva ndeisa. So ndeke nuko chusha ndoa ni haga ndoa ni uko chusha lungo. Ushe finisha mchita lungo alilanda kale. Eh finisha mchita. Ni cho ground ba opina ba moja utia te lungo alipopi lugo mchila. Mola ndoa ni mola ndoa utia because you are liars. Stop lying to the Zambian people. You lied to them at the door like a well apartment kwa changu mwatega. You had a lot of collections around the world. The loyalty who is now IMF today they've let you down. There is a lot of hunger. First, to deal with the issue of hunger, people are suffering. People are suffering. Thank you, thank you, Honorable GBM. He should arrest the high cost of living. He should arrest the high cost of fuel. He should arrest the high cost of food prices. He should not be arresting his political opponents. My reiteration is to Deputy. Uh, Police Inspector General, um, Mr. Siandenge. By the way, I worked with him in, in uh, uh, Western Province. He was my police commissioner at the time. I'm sincerely appealing to you. You cannot subvert, you cannot abuse the powers of the Inspector General of Police. You are a deputy. It's imperative that you respect that hierarchy. Nani ba president ba lekwe ba bebe tuwa president nani kwa ta boss yu muasa di ne grafio msamu. Do not conduct operations that are political. Be professional as a police. That is our advice to Commissioner Siandenge. And we are on firm ground. That is the one maliciously directing this process. We want to work with you. I will speak to you later. We came to monitor the line. Okay. Okay.